Welcome back to another video on Head Head Hogs and today I'm just going to be showing you guys a couple holdbacks from the 2024 breeding season. And these are, this one is one, it's a very light bright kind of, with that weird face mask. These two are going to be definitely holdbacks. That one's Bane. You guys have seen that one a lot. And that one is his sister. It kind of looks like the one from the other clutch. A very nice, cool, dark green animal. It says them outside in natural light. You can tell you that one's going to be phenomenal. Crazy looking animal. And then these three are also going to be holdbacks. And those last ones were um, Cascade to Lemon Ghost. 50, uh, Het Sable to 50% Sunburst. But I don't think there's any visual Sables in there. But there's something definitely going on. But these ones are Het Lavenders. 50% Sunburst. And there's these ones. These ones are very good, cool looking animals. As you can see, yeah, they're very, like, these ones are older, but the same thing, LG to Cascade Outcross, which did phenomenal, phenomenal work to the LG. I have very nice, expressive snakes, as you'll see in this video. So, you don't have to necessarily breed LG to LG to get nice LGs. You can also outcross smartly and selectively and still make nice animals. Some more holdbacks right here. Extreme Reds. Evan Hypos. Very cool looking animals. The one on the left is a holdback. The one on the right most likely is getting sold. It looks better in person than it does on camera. It looks brown on camera, but it's not brown. You can, you can see faints of red in there. It just looks like that on camera. And even pretty much like the red looks more orange on camera, but it's pretty red. And then this one on the left is definitely all back. This one's the highest expression LG I've made to date. Like this thing is pretty fucking yellow and it hasn't even shed yet. Like watch, let's take this thing outside and show you. That's my daughter. Look how yellow this thing is, she's scared now. But look how yellow and green that thing is, bro. Mind you, hasn't shed yet. It's gonna be a nice animal. Phenomenal animal. Yeah, these two are definitely going to be holdbacks too. These two aren't very happy with me because I had to force feed them. And, you know, you know what that, that entails. But look at those better in the light. That one is cool. It's like a real, like, neon green. Like, red. This one's cool too. It's like a neon yellow. But definitely holdbacks. I'm going to play with those ones. Especially this one, this one looks super cool. Some more extreme red stuff. I'm probably gonna hold back two of these. That really red one you see like that. Yeah, you can see it's bleeding through the camera. That one's really red. Like it's bleeding. And then that boy is definitely getting held back. He's a nice, bright, hot sauce red. But yeah, that one's bleeding. Like you can see it through the camera. It, it looks more red like in person for sure. Shit's bleeding. Yeah, these two will also be held back. I believe they're both Articonda, 100% head. Hypos, they'll be going to their half sisters to try to get some nice big hypos, which I will then later on cross into my permafrost projects to try to add size to sable, hypo, and caramel with nice structures. So that's the goal with those ones. And some color as well. All that. And then some of those will be sold. 
We'll be selling those ones. Oh yeah, I'm holding back this one. Arctic Super Conda, 100% head. Evans Hypo. And this one has some nice reds in it. Really nice reds. Come on, bro. my daughter don't mind her but yeah really cool really cool animal and then these two will definitely also be held back like i'm gonna show you why because this thing eats and look at that head stamp really cool head stamp i believe that's that new possible new gene i've been trying to prove out i'm gonna work on and this one has it too but really nice green animals that one's really green and yellow like uh, i can't really get how green and yellow it is but it's only gonna get better after it's first shed. And the last two holdbacks of the video, the Arctic Frosted, that Permafrost 33% Toffee Belly, and then the Anaconda, possible Arctic, um, Hat Sable 66 Permafrost 33 Toffee Belly. But these look really weird, really cool animals. Like I wish I can, they're trying to hide from me right now, but. Really cool animals. And then since we're already here, update you. She's getting big. Arctic, het sable, het lavender, possible coral female. Albino girl looking good. She's always hungry, so I had to slam her in there. Frosted girl, ooh, sorry, sorry girl, sorry. I did not mean to do that. Uh, Arctic het permafrost girl. Looking phenomenal, hopefully she makes them nice babies next year i can't wait to pair her up yeah she's always mad i'm gonna Ooh. feed them again soon then i can't wait to pair this girl next year yeah she's gonna do work and she has that head stamp so we'll see i gotta clean that out but head table possible toffee female so double head Sunburst possible coral mills also doing well. Lemon Ghost Boy doing good. He sired all of that LG stuff. Arctic Hat True Hypo, I believe, also has that gene, but we'll see. Arctic Super Conda 66 Mai Tai. Arctic Het Sable, 66 Mai Tai. Arctic Double Het Sable, Lavender Male. He possibly sired that clutch. These two boys possibly so. Either he sired that Lavender Clutch or he did, but I think he did. That Toffee Billy with that weird head stamp doing really well. I can't wait to pair him. And he also comes from... Um, this is the nice red double head um, storm cloud male, possible snowburst. Sable Conda, 60, no, het permafrost now. He sired that Arctic frosted and that other anaconda, that weird one. He also has that weird head stamp, the same one as that LG, but I don't know. Like I said, we'll see. And then, um, and then he's also 66 Mai Tai, so he will be paired to one of those females I'll show you later this that's the sable conda 66 electric who might have a clutch on the way might not you'll see I posted a short about it but I don't think she's grabbing this is that that one really nice green hypo that I hatched out a couple years ago she's still growing up she's still like a little small though this is her brother that weird green red one all right um, I believe he also sired a clutch this year. Some of that 100% head hypo stuff. And I can't wait to pair him. 87.5% LG Conda, so nearly pure. Like he's, like it's hard to see on camera, but yeah, now he glows. And this is the father to my red head hypo shit. You can tell he's very red. He has he has slight bug eyeing, so I, so I'm, um, so I won't pair none of his kids back together. I will all pair his kids to their half siblings, which 
which which his dad died earlier this year, which was that um, hypochondria. So she took a shit yesterday, and I'm pretty sure she just had a fat shit in her. Cause, because after that shit, I cleaned it out, and then she went right back to not looking grab it. So I don't think we have eggs on the way. But that's the mom to that lavender shit. And you can tell because her baby has that same exact head stamp. She's coming out. That's a disgusting poop. Gotta clean that out. But this is the girl who that one um, Sable Conda is going to be paired to. She also has that head stamp. So we'll see, man. Because if I hatch out one out of this, it's a gene. And, like, it's going to be hard to, like, argue that. It's going to be very hard to argue that. And then if I hatch out another one with the like it's just going to be hard to argue within the next couple of years and i'm i'm already seeing the seeing the pattern and the shit but like i said we'll see because i could be completely wrong and then making a video saying you guys are right but um anaconda double head sable lavender yeah she's a little bit smaller female so she won't be breeding arctic uh conda 100 head albino 66 electric which which uh, she has good, um, good like markers for um, electric. I'm gonna pair her to that Sable Boy, and then we'll see. Uh, this is the mom to all that LG stuff. Really nice. Um, I don't think she proved out Sable, but she still has a small chance of proving out for Albina. But she has that little split eyebrows, and she made Bane. I believe this is like a lower expression form of it because you can see it splits but it doesn't break and it also kind of pinches it off still but like i said i don't know and then this sable girl also has it which which came from red ridge which had that mom and i believe these two have i think the same granddad which is cascade county green she doesn't have it but she has that blue so I'm gonna pair her to something with that head stamp and see if something similar pops out. But they do hatch out kind of blue. And that's pretty much it, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and come back for more. Thank you, bye.